I am back from my long. Yo, 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 yo. Late night, episode nine. AD, J Birdie here. What to do, son? What up, son? Yo, is the bird here? AD, late night, Monday night, whatever it is. You know, it's late. Monday you know, night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, whenever you're watching this, it's late. Yeah, Tuesday morning already. You know? Second Kick time. out your, tell your wife she can come home. Hold <laughs> on. Put on something decent. Turn the late night on. That's it. With a candle. Kids better be asleep, dude. They better be. Unless you got a daughter over 18, the rest of them. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Go to sleep. Oh, man. How was your week, bro? It was pretty good, man. Um, I mean, work kind of sucked. It's been mad fucking busy. Yeah. The seven minute, seven year anniversary of the company I work for. Wow. Uh, they doing 40. mad deals? 40% off everything, 50% off if your total is 160 or more. You know, so the people are coming in dropping $700, paying $350, you know? <laughs> yeah, bro. The Khalifa Mints, 29%. The Khalifa Mints, which is a menthol-infused Khalifa Kush. Um, 29%. It's normally $58. It was on sale for 45 from Wednesday to Sunday. Damn. People eating. You 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 puff on that the Khalifa? Yeah. Right. Can I guess the next time you come down? Hit the mic a little closer. Yeah. Try to guess some next time you come down. Oh, yeah. Pretty hey, good, you, dude. Is I like menthol infused though. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Newport. Nah, I don't. I don't really taste the menthol. Nah? To be honest, no, nah, not really. And that one usually tastes higher than the regular Khalifa does. You know, I've been. Real gas lately, bro. Like real gas. I've been smoking gas. Yeah, bro. What's this? Diesel though, twenty seven percent. I got jars everywhere, bro. Connected flower. Twenty seven percent. Gushers. Oh. Yellow yellow fin tuna. Twenty six percent. That sounds real Florida, though. <laughs> yellow fin tuna is crazy. Yellow, make a blue fin it's a sativa, black tuna is the hybrid, and yellow fin's the indica. All made by Hard, actually. Fire. Delicious? Delicious. Yeah. 45. Well, Hold up. There you go. There you go. That, that's the birds. The birds weekly. The weekly weed roundup. <laughs> it tastes the beak, Aaron. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Be on the lookout for late night merch soon. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Um, now I, I want to kind of like steer this a little bit. How do you feel about you know, the nine episodes we've done so far about the content we've been putting out. Because today, to me, we hit a milestone in terms of, like, actual late-night views. We put it, we put a, a clip of gold out. And I'm the not going to play it here. I want you guys to go watch it on our platform to run the numbers up because it's a clip of gold, baby. But, um, yeah, how do you feel about the content we've been putting out so far? Um, I think we've grown pretty much every episode, and it's been nine episodes, and we've done plenty of content before. Yeah. You know, but about... You know, us being on our own platform, being able to be us, is, is hilarious, bro. Yeah. It's just hilarious. I think we're funny. I also think we're funny. 
I also I think I'm the top two funniest people on the planet. You know, you're I mean? your father. <laughs> my father is is hilarious. You know, what I'm saying I'm up too. Uh, you know, give anybody a run for their money. Fuck it, we'll do it live. You heard? Yeah, I might not uh, be I might not be in the top five, but I'm like top twenty. You know what I mean? Funny guys, like I'm top twenty. You know what I'm saying? What'd you say? You're there. You're you're, you're up to the top. I don't know. Top. I'm, saying, I'm saying like top twenty, like is a respectable number for me. You top, know? You know, I gotta throw hand dog up there. Hand dog, for you. like hand dog would be like top ten, you know. You know, I can't, put, I can't put Gabe up there because he's funny unintentionally. <laughs> Usually, yeah. the jokes it's funny when the jokes about him. <laughs> yeah, something you know, and it doesn't mean that he chuckles when we chuckle, and it's <laughs> that, that's a moment there, you know. But my favorite blackout clip so far is when I caught him telling a joke that nobody laughed at. <laughs> you know, we didn't even get the petty ad camp. <laughs> we got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that honestly, I mean, we we talked about it when that happened, but like that day, I was like conflicted because I was like, I shouldn't let Bird like talk shit about the show, but also like it was objectively funny that it was just dead air. Like we, all three of us were said, "All right." <laughs> and then Rob comments on the clip that you should zoom into my face, flip <laughs> and like looks away. <laughs> Hilarious! <laughs> oh man, it, it's proof that I support the pre llama. Yeah, he watches. That. I mean, you were there. You, you, you know. I caught the dude. Blackout supports blackout, man. But right. uh, I think our clip today, though, like that's got to be kind of the standard going forward in terms of like whatever moments yeah. we have out of this. And I, I mean, I, obviously, I see it in just like social media in general. But shout out to Llama for like posting those couple clips because I was like, bro, me and Bird. I mean, I think I truly do believe like this. Show has like to me, I'm on three different podcasts. Like even Mama said it yesterday. It's like you're on three different podcasts, blah blah. You do all the content. It's like yeah, like this right here to me, I feel like has the highest ceiling. Like it may not be true in the long run. Like I think because also our comedy is like we'll probably find like a niche of like people that fuck with us, you know. Yeah. But they're gonna like that too. <laughs> they, they're gonna find that same. <laughs> Yo, Bird wore this in episode eight and nine of the, the, the late night. This Google will look it up. Send me four of them. <laughs> Different <Bird>. colors. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like this one has the highest ceiling. And today, when we posted that clip, like what it did, I was like, yeah, like this proves it. Because again, first clip off of the show, like hey, we did pretty well. You know, Llama posted. I looked at Llama's like clips. In terms of like what he posted, and our shit's already blew blew him out the water. Like so, I'm like, damn. Like, but shout yeah. out to Big Poppy Angie though. That edit was good shit. Exactly. So. Immaculate, dude. Yeah, that was a great edit, man. So we appreciate that for sure. But um, yeah, man. This week, thank you. What'd you say? I was sending him a bag of Skittles as a thank you. Yeah, I'm sure. You know. thank you. Although he didn't want to play with us today, he had a group of four and we had a group of three and we joined his lobby and his friends were like. Get them out of here. Kick them. Kick them. Yeah, dude, I was listening to it. And I was there. Oh, yeah. bro. Like, oh, yeah, you were there. Waited for me to get home. We could have ran a 4v4 real fast. He didn't want dude. to. He said, He said, you guys are at this. He's like, you guys play like Marines and we play like kind of idiots. And his friend was like, but we're still good, though. It's like, well, don't say you're good. And, and then not play us. <laughs> don't say that. Yeah, come on. Bro. You well, know, we'll, we, we could test if you're good, dude. We'll find out real fast. Yeah. Mercado have- Las Almas? You go down yeah. sixty. I had I had a bad game against Angie, and he almost beat me, but I didn't let it happen. <laughs> no, you turned up on him. You came back, come back here. That's another video that just never saw the light of day. I still have it, I think, in the drive. At least I posted the the seed clip. I went aim shit the whole way through, and then me and her had a I mean, her had a nice little battle at the end. Yeah, I was upset yeah. about that. I was like, yeah. supposed to play her first round, dude. <laughs> the hardest guy in the bracket. I don't know. Huh? I was lost first round. Yeah. You had well, the, the only... honestly, you had the easy side of the bracket, and it was like me and her, because like whoever wins this one's going to the finals. <laughs> yeah. Pooped all over him. Huh? Oh, the nuke? I... That... Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rock. You did shit on You yeah. forget to mention this. On it, dude. I wasn't there for the shit talking. I was like, all right, dude. Hold on. <laughs> you just put him in a blender. <laughs> I remember, yeah. I, I think I was like, Bird just tried to put a, put a message out. <laughs> he ain't losing. <laughs> that I said her couldn't. Nah. What it is, bro? 
That's what it is. The, the rest of the story is written. But, yo, UFC 291. Initial thoughts, man. How'd you feel about the card? The card was... It was there, bro. I, w- I would give it S- an A tier. I would put it A tier. And then you guards. It was, it was an A tier. I mean, a lot of finishes. It seems like Utah comes out, bro. Utah loves yeah. the UFC, bro. The energy in that place is always electric. And Shout out my boy Derek fucking Lewis. Yo, shout out Derek Lewis. They try to count you out. You know what I'm saying? We, we picked you over here. You were part of my parlay, buddy. I, Take those pants off, bro. Yo, the flying knee, though, is crazy. Like, did you mean to throw that? Nah, nah. I just wanted to throw the bullshit. <laughs> Hope it landed. It did. <laughs> he goes, what are taking your pants off? Nah, my balls are... You know, you know. You know what it was. <laughs> I, I respect that he didn't say it. Yeah. I respect that he didn't say it because it's like, all right, you, you know what I was going to say. Like, I just, like, my balls were... The crowd went, oh. Was, <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's like, nigga, his balls are actually... He said, my dick, he said your dick got a, a mind of its own. <laughs> Some shit like that. What if they go? What if they goes to two hundred five, bro? Nah, they cut, no shot. No shot, right? No shot, bro. You know how much he has? To, he has to lose a lot of weight still. He's yeah. probably what? What do you weigh in at? Do you know? Like two sixty something, two sixty five, I think. Really? I think so. Reddit though, abs. Yeah, the way he poked them out. But you know, honestly, I, if he keeps of his abs, and John Jones is proud of his belly. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, Five. Derek Lewis, Derek, he, 265? Yeah, no shot. He's way. <laughs> no. Uh, Derek Lewis said, my wife likes me more with the abs now. <laughs> it's just, you know, the guy who comes up from 205 gets a belly. He's like, yeah, Ooh. look at my. Derek Lewis got faint abs. He's like, yeah. He look got at weight, me. weight cut abs, bro. <laughs> he got literally yeah. weight cutted. But he fucked him up, dude. No, and that guy, I haven't seen him fight before, but before the fight, a lot of the podcasts were like, they were like, yeah, yeah. this guy's pretty nice, so it's going to be a tough was, night for Lewis. And Derek Lewis was an underdog. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, plus, like plus 135, some shit like that. And then he hit someone with a flying knee. Flying knee nope. to start through the guard, bro. Yep. Dropped that was over. Him, son, and then just hammer fisted it to the end, which, again, what do you think happens next? Because he, he was very Tua. adamant. Huh? Tua. You think if Tua wins? Because Tua's fighting next week or the week after. Even if Tua loses. <laughs> Tua? <laughs> didn't they fight, though? And didn't Tua beat him? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Finish like that. Give it to beat him again. Let's see what happens. They didn't fight Derrick Lewis that looked like this. Now, Derrick Lewis was saying that he, he was, like, just hoping to get a contract and stuff. So that means, I mean, after that performance, he's going to get re-signed, right? Like, you would think. Yeah. Especially a, a guy like Lima where people are high on him. Like, yeah. all right, it shows he still belongs. It, it, again, it's like the Cerrone shit, bro. Gatekeeper. Yeah, it's like you're not going to beat the top guys. I mean, he might prove us wrong because now to get abs, especially for Derrick yeah. Lewis, we've seen him. He had to put in the work. So yeah. if he keeps putting in the work time in, time out in terms of, like, his next couple fights, who knows what he's going to look like in a couple fights where he's, like, actually shredded, like, now he's at the point of his career right now that if you don't, it's like if you don't beat me, you're not beating the top. The top. It's not happening. No. Like if I move your ass, and then it, it does nothing but it, he beats prospects and moves up in the weight class and can do his another like four or five fight win streak until like, bro, we gotta give him a shot. And then he gets it, which he can. And if he's finishing fights like this, it can be rather quick. You know, if within Derek, a year. If Derek Lewis wins the heavyweight championship. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, twenty five knockouts. <laughs> what if, what if, like, it plays out again where he, he fights for the belt in Houston and wins it this time? Because, because that's what I said to Gabe, and I, I don't know if Gabe like really understood the point. Not the he didn't understand it. Just like he doesn't watch as much fighting as like me and you. But like when Derek Lewis was on the rise to the belt when he fought Cyril in Houston and shit, there was like a, a it had to be or at least it seemed there was like a pressure on him. In that moment, like everything was leading to the belt. It was like, bro, you're just finishing these guys really yeah. fast. Like you're going to the belt, and then they put it the interim belt in your home place for you yeah. to headline. Like that's got to be kind of a lot. And now that he's like lost and then lost again and lost again, it kind of like it seems at least he had fun out there. Like he went out to have fun, like you said, or like he said in the post fight. Like, did you mean to throw? Nah, I just want to throw some bullshit, see if it lands. Like 
If you're going in yeah. with that mentality and working Luke. hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to beat Derek Lewis going forward. Title in Houston? Who? If he wins the title in Houston, that's oh, crazy. That's nuts, yeah. Bro, the crowd goes after He retires right there. Good. He takes he takes the gloves off, puts it right in the middle of the <laughs> And the belt, put it down. In his pants. <laughs> in his pants. And just walks off. No post in the fight interview. Oh, shit. Maybe. Derek Lewis smoking a blunt with Joe Rogan on the pod. That'd be hard. I, I wonder if he's been on Joe's pod. I'd like to watch that. Um, who else? Tony Ferguson versus Bobby Green. How'd you feel about that one? You know, El Kukui is El Namori, you know, unfortunately. He's done. Uh, he's done data. Uh, he put up a, he, he hit him with some shots. You know what I'm saying? But there was a faster, stronger guy in the ring that night. Um, I don't like when the announcers downplay the age of an, of a fighter. Like, not downplay, but they're like, oh, you know, the last thing that goes is his power. You know, I'm like, all right, dude. And if he knocks this fucking dude out, if, if Tony Ferguson does knock this dude out, you guys all look like fucking morons. Okay? But, yeah, Bobby Green fucking put some working on him, dude. Yeah. I like that he finished him on the floor, too, because that, yeah. I, honestly, that solidifies, like, El Kukui's way out. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's like, you guys have made it, like, rather convincingly. The top know? five journeymen of all time. It's crazy. They, I saw a stat today. It was, uh, I forgot the years, but to 20, I think it was like 2013 to 2019, oh. 12 and 0. Yeah. And then from 2020 till now, 0 and 6. 0 and 6. That is nuts, bro. That's like literally like a shift. Like there was like, we didn't get to see the best no. Ferguson fight at the highest level in terms of like for the belt. And he should have got, he should have got the belt. Opportunity, eleven fights in, ten fights in, type shit. You know, yeah. Like they, the UFC kind of dropped the ball in terms of him. Who was champ back then? Uh, Habib. They always Habib. said they always said that we never got to see that fight. Remember, it kept getting postponed yeah. every time. They, they, I Wait. think they scheduled it like three times. Yeah, that's that. That's that fucked his career up too. You know, and then we get then they throw him at Diaz. That whole card was fucking rigged, but it is what it is. Yo. I'm I fucked up that whole fucking thing. Nobody talks gonna... about that no more. Nope, we're we're gonna fucking advertise a be- a fucking Hosma- Hosmat versus fucking Diaz. Diaz last fight with the UFC. They're gonna go to war. You know what I'm saying? Because Diaz is what Diaz does. You, you're not gonna finish him in the first round. It's not gonna happen. I don't give a fuck if you put him in there with God. Okay, he's taking five minutes. You know, it, it is what it is. Uh, and then we get him first Ferguson. He just played with Ferguson. Oh. That, okay, like fuck. I said, that like I said in the the pre llama yesterday, I was like Ferguson's like signs of like going down, like the Chandler yep. shit. Like he didn't look crazy bad. He didn't look good by any means. But he didn't look bad, yeah. and then he just got knocked out to oblivion. So it's like, all right, well, let's see what he is. Then when you see him against like Nate Diaz, not that, not that I would think, not that I would pick him to beat Nate Diaz in any time, yeah. like in their primes even, but. He would put a good fight, and it, w- it would have been a way better fight, closer fight, if his skills oh, yeah. were still on par, and I don't think they are. It would have been bloody. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been uh, uh, that We might have seen that fight three times if they would have fought early enough in their careers. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, he, the thing was, like, he was super delusional in the press conference beforehand. Like, I'm, I'm about to go on a, 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 another title run, get a couple fights, and it's like, yeah, yeah, but you're supposed to... Nah, dude, when you... I don't know, dude. Yeah. We're supposed to go, oh, yeah, I'm going to go in there. You know, I might fight two or three more fights. Who knows? I win some, lose some. Nah, you're going to go in there. Like, you know, I'm going to whoop everybody's ass. You're supposed to feel like you can go in there and beat a beat right a now. title run? Yeah, like, you're you supposed to... You got to be realistic with yourself, dude. Like... You just let yourself down. You know, you build up to these goals. You can only work as hard as your goals let you. I guess. I mean, I'm not saying he shouldn't think he was going to go on the title run, but you should also be like, I'm not going on the title run, right? especially if you're fighting Bobby Green. Yeah. It's not like I'm fighting a contender. I'm fighting Bobby Green, who is also one of those guys that seems like a gatekeeper. Like, he's good enough to keep people from out of the top, but he's not going to ascend. And, like, what what happens with Bobby Green now? Because Bobby Green looked good, but yeah. I don't think he's going to fight. What is that, 155? Like, who yeah. is he going to fight? Like, you're going to put him against Fucking Dustin Poirier? No, dude, no way. Oh, my. Doesn't that, I mean, that, oh, man, let's talk about the second fight first. 
Yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, I, I just want to say shout out Kevin Holland because I did, I did it. I'm, I'm happy to see him in the new way division. He looks good. But let's go to Alex Pereira, John Blockley. Yeah. Say, say again. Also Kevin Holland. I like Kevin Holland. Yeah. And he looked good. Uh, he did. He but did. Alex Pereira versus John. John Vlakovic. Uh, they should fight again for the title. It's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, they should, though. Because that fight could have went either way. Yeah. All right. So I was telling I didn't. I don't know. It means just as much, if not more, than striking. Well, now, because recently the judges have been coming out saying they look for damage on the ground. And he wasn't, like, damaging. Yeah, but that's fucked. Yeah. You know, wrestling is a martial art. You know what I mean? And if I if I am strong enough of a man to get you to the ground and keep you there in a dominant position, you know what I'm saying? And you can't get up. What what is that? Just a, a neutral round? You landed three punches. I kept you down for four minutes. It's neutral. Yeah, but wasn't like Pierre hitting him with elbows and stuff off the back? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Well, it, you know? that that could be like their argument. You know, like definitely fight again, but they're not gonna put him against another wrestler like that. He's gonna the next person he fights gonna be a striker. Yeah. You know. I mean, did it, I didn't get to watch? I didn't get to watch it. Watch it. So like, did it look like? Uh, did he look like you're struggling like he was against Izzy? Because Izzy, nah. he looked weirdly overmatched in the wrestling, almost like he wasn't expecting Izzy to do it. He looked super overmatched. Yeah, he was just laying there, and and he the homeboy was just standing out, just sitting on top of him, pretty much. He would like advance to like half guard, go back to full guard, advance to half guard, go back to full guard. You know, he would land an elbow, he would land an elbow, but he's on top of him the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And, and Alex isn't even trying to advance. And then when he did try to advance, he did stand up, and I'm pretty sure he got taken right back down. You know, but then he was standing with some shots, though, bro. Like, yeah. he was, if he, if he was at 185, he would have slept on me. Yeah. Yeah, dude, no, no shot. The, if he, yeah, he hit him like he did Izzy against the fence, bro. And homeboy kept. Yeah, I mean, I saw, I saw, uh, I did see, like, Jan, like, put, Put some paws on him too, and I was like, "Damn, young, hard." And he said, "And the the tweet was exactly like he got knocked out six weeks ago, mind you, yeah. <laughs> like, and they didn't fall down." But yeah, so I had a parlay. I had everyone. Yeah. I had uh, it was a five pick. It was Kevin Holland, Derek Lewis, Bobby Green, fucking like Alex, and then Dustin. And oh. bro, and I only put uh. I put five on, on like, DraftKings. But then I, I opened a FanDuel account because I was, like, super confident about these picks, right? I opened the FanDuel. It was, like, bet $5, get a $100, $100 bet. So I put it on a three-pick parlay. It was uh, Bobby Green, Derek. No, Bobby Green, Alex, and then Dustin, right? And then I look. When, when I saw all the fights went my way, especially the Alex, because the Alex one was, like, the only one that was, like, cause Derek Lewis, yeah, because Derek Lewis came out, finished him, uh, yep. ke- uh Kevin Holland finished him. Bobby Green looked like he was dominating Ferguson from the get. So I was like, oh, yeah. And then fucking Alex comes. And it's like, the decision. I'm like, I said, when, when he announced Alex's score first, I was like, oh, Alex won this. Because then he was going to say, yawn, and then go back to Alex. I was like, oh, thank God. But it was very, like, because I was listening to it. I was like, it was very close. Yeah, and, it was. And at that point, I should have cashed out, you know. I looked at it, at the $100 bet. I was like, it was like cash out 230 I said, I should right now because I didn't put no money in it like that's a win like and I was like nah Dustin might get this and then Dustin now nah, let's let's go Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gaethje Dustin comes out strong well, they were throwing bro they were, they were, they were, they were bro the, the post fights with Gaethje the way Gaethje's face looked oh he, he looked like he lost dude, dude he was getting pieced the fuck up bro that's what I'm saying like a towel they, they <laughs> yeah. went, it went from so I looked at the cash out before the fight started 231 right after the first round, this is why I didn't cash it out immediately. Because I also thought it was going to go to the fourth round. Because I also had a bet it was going to finish, like, the first fight. Like, later in the in the fight, you know? So, it, from after the first round, I'm listening to it. I'm like, oh, Dustin's winning. I look again, 251. I'm like, fuck, I need to cash this shit out right now. I'm like, nah. I'm like, I, I literally clock out of work. Like, yo. I, I'm talking to Rob on the Discord. Like, yo, Rob, I'm about to, I'm about to be out. I'll be back um, when I get home. I'll watch the fights with you guys. I, I exited, called my girl, talked to her, and then Rob calls me immediately. He said, nigga, it's over. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, Justin K- he said, Justin Gagey head kicked him, folded him. I said, it was bad? He said, he's still on the ground right now. 
Yo, he got folded, bro. Yeah. Fold. Yeah. It's bro. To, so, like the beginning of the fight looked like um, like Edwards Usman, right? But then the end of the fight looked like Edwards Usman, you know. And he just nighty night, Dustin. You know that, that would. They could definitely fight again too. I wouldn't be mad at all. Yeah, <laughs> Justin said in the post conference that when he talked to Gaethje, he was like, "Let's mm-hmm. not fight again, dude. We don't have to do this." <laughs> we said we don't have to do this again because Bro, that's the thing. He was piecing. Dustin was piecing him. Yeah. And if it would have went, even Dustin said it in the post fight, he was like, "I thought I had." He said, "Uh, what do you say?" He's like, "I thought I had. I thought I had a couple more rounds, not a couple more minutes." <laughs> like, you know, what I mean? like if you go to war with somebody like that one time, not not only twi- one time, yeah. you who, who would want to do that again? Yeah, that's true. Like, you, you know, you know as, how as somebody hits. Yeah, if you're both contenders at that point, flip a coin. <laughs> I'm saying, like, yo, you're number one, you're number two. Neither of you guys have fought the champion yet. All right, heads. All right, tails, Dustin. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> you know, I just, yeah, you know, you, but that's why they're fighters, and we're talking about them fighting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I mean, we would fare very well in the, the light heavyweight division. <laughs> Yeah, lightweight, maybe. I'll, I'll, fuck, I'll fuck up, dude. Maybe fucking cut down the lightweight and start down yeah. wrestling got, people. Wait, 285. Yo, I'll um. Mighty Mouse up, bro. <laughs> Fucking him up. Yo, fuck it. Yeah, dude, you ever heard of Bradley Martin, some swole dude on, like, YouTube? Yeah. He was saying he, was saying he would fight uh, Nate Diaz, and then, like, the MMA world, like, got on him. So then he started, yeah. like, trolling. And then Brendan Schaub goes on his podcast is like, and brings up Mighty Mouse. He's like, Mighty Mouse. He's like, no. He's like, we're talking bar fight. Mighty Mouse will, will fuck you up. He's like, I would slam Mighty Mouse. <laughs> like, I would slam him. Like, no, dude. Like, please. <laughs> like, you're big. You're big enough. But Mighty Mouse is one of the greatest we have on this planet. You go to you go to slam him. He hits with a flying arm ball. <laughs> yeah. You're on before he hits the ground. <laughs> That's it for you, dude. It's over. <laughs> He starts the armbar, switches to the triangle yeah. on the way you, you, go, you go to slam him, you wake up next to your best friend. Like, yo, it's good, bro. <laughs> yo, you said you could beat him, bro. We had your back. He beat him up. <laughs> you fucked us all up. I fucked us up. You did some brutal. <laughs> hey, set it up. In, in a bar fight, I pick up a pool stick. <laughs> and I'm to a fucking, Would you even uh, fight him? Like, if you're in a bar fight and you know it's Mighty Mouse, like you. Like, so yeah. we're not having this conversation, right? <laughs> and you're just in the bar doing, you know, like what you do. It's like chilling. And then you just see Mighty Mouse. And then he starts being the dickhead to like one of your homegirls or some shit. Like, yeah, now you got to throw down with Mighty Mouse. It's almost like when Jada Kiss was talking about Mike Tyson. He's like, one of us got to poke him. <laughs> no, thing, dude. You don't think three of us can take out Mighty Mouse? He's huh? one, I don't, you don't I'm think fine. Mighty Mouse is rolling around at a, it, the kind of bars we go to you, and Mighty <laughs> Mouse is there? He's rolling around with some big dude. Deep. We're talking about Mighty Mouse, dude. Not the people he's with. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, we got to deal with those guys, too. Really. Nah, they don't <laughs> There's three of us the... against Mighty Mouse, and he beats us up like fucking Jackie Chan in <laughs> Rush Hour. He could tip with nine to the chest. <laughs> oh, okay, dude. <laughs> All right. You're going to make him 50 cent now? Now he's going to have a get your refund? Nah, dude. He's going to be like fucking somebody else. Who <laughs> died. <laughs> Fuck. <It's like> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You be, yo, you heard Floyd said he saw Tupac get shot. You seen that clip? Oh, yeah. yeah, he's like, I seen that. He's like pointing it out, like where he saw it. Like, what the I, fuck? That's crazy. I think he's dumb. Not dumb, dude. He's obviously really rich and can kind of fight. He's really yeah. talented. And, and... Fucking him up in a fucking street fight, too. In a street fight, Floyd is definitely getting fucked up in a bar fight. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chair to the head, Floyd. Now your arm is broken. What if he dodges it? Yeah, right. And then, yeah. He dodged somebody, one of our other buddies coming with a left hand from God. He dodges in the doof. <laughs> he dodges out. Bro, what if they're just as good as we think they are? It's like. All like, I would do if I slept Floyd is I would steal his keys, get in his Bentley, and crash it into a pole. Is it? And just get out? Yeah. No, I wouldn't even get out wait for the cops. I'm definitely getting caught. Why run? <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah, right. I walk. I probably got a credit card. I probably got my debit card on the tab. Where am I gonna go? <laughs> 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 my credit card on the tab is probably the truest statement ever. Talking. 
<laughs> on, on real shit. Yo, what am I gonna do for that? Nothing. I mean, you yeah. fucking fuck. You gotta get your credit card off the yeah. tab. They just yeah. say you beat up Floyd Mayweather, so they're not gonna let you go. Exactly into the fucking pole. Like, well, I'm the money team now. <laughs> yeah, let's get in the get, get shotgun, Floyd. <laughs> the back speed. AD gets front. <laughs> we out. We out. <laughs> You hanging out with us now. You need to pay for everything. I got to do a bar fight with my Mayweather. And, and I'm picturing myself sitting outside of Harper's, sitting on the front, waiting for the cops. <laughs> like, sitting on the sidewalk. I'm going to last thing. Yeah, you know, hopefully somebody's got something rolled up. <laughs> you know, give AD my hat. Yeah, Here, don't. here you go. Make sure it's clean. <laughs> I don't want to go through. I don't want to go through the fucking security point. I got to be me on the pod. <laughs> Negative, I'm not, I, would, I would discontinue it. Too. I would have a every time, every Monday night on our time slot, I would put on my stream Free Bird until you're out. <laughs> yeah, we do recordings off the jail phone. That's hard. Hey, there's phones in jail now. You just do it on the Discord yeah. there. <laughs> phone, in, yeah, phone in my in jail, my cell phone. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, this guy's this guy's still making content right now. He's in jail. He's locked up. Yo, but um, <laughs> just to wrap up the UFC talk. What do you think is next for Justin Gagey? He's going straight for the belt? I mean, he said it. It seems like it, but do you think they give him the, the title shot after Charles versus Islam 2 in Abu Dhabi? Yeah, I think you kind of have to. Yeah, I think it was kinda... two versus three in the rankings. No, I, just, I think if he wins the title, then we get him Poirier three. It uh, has to, right? I mean, Poirier yeah. would have to win, though. Poirier would have yeah. to win a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got, I mean, uh, in the perfect world, he, um... He fights the loser of Islam, Charles. Mm, okay. You know, and then he goes up and fights Gaethje if he wins. I mean, who do we think wins that fight, Islam or Charles? Charles wins. You think Charles does? Yeah, I think he wins. I think he should have won the first time. He just now looked he flat. Did. He came out flat. The first fight. Yeah, he's not coming out flat this time, and I think he knows how good this kid is. And now he's like, all right, dude. I'm prepared now. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I think he wins it, though. Interesting. All right, well, UFC 291 was good. What's the? Let me look up the next card. I know Sean, Ma, uh, Sean, o, Sean O'Malley and Aljo are in three weeks. That's what, UFC 292? I think so. Yep. So that means there's a fight night, not this week, or, but maybe next week with uh, Tua Basa as a headliner. So that should be good. Yeah, that should be fire. He, he, need, he needs a big win to get back in contention because he's, he's a star, too, in terms of like, he's like a Derek Lewis type of star. Fans just fuck with him. Yeah. What's next for Pavlovich, Pop- 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 whatever the fuck his name is? Pavlovich. Pop- yeah, the Pop- heavyweight dude. Either uh, I can see Tom Aspinall fighting him, but I think they might want to give Tom Aspinall maybe one more fight before they do that. That guy's a menace, dude. Yeah, I don't know because it's it's. I mean, it's really the, all depends on the John versus Stipe fight, right? Like, does John stay around? You know, and if not, like, does he does like if if John were to retire after the Stipe fight, which people are like kind of thinking, does Pavlovich? Go, like, is he considered the one that gets the interim belt? Like, most definitely. And then you no, find if, his opponent. If John retires, is it still the interim? No, nah, it would be the belt, actually, right? Like, if he retires. Yeah. He's vacating like, the belt. Yeah, but I and I think in a perfect world, John beats Stipe, retires, comes back and wins the belt again to be the two-time heavyweight champion. I don't know, dude. I feel, like it, I feel like it would be better if he just kept the streak going. He fights like two or three times. And then, yeah, maybe. as opposed to retiring, right? Like, because you defended it. And that just still, goes to your, your, your fight totals. Go again. Still gone, really got the John Jones effect, though. Maybe. His next fight. He's at a fight night, dude. His next fight is at a fight night. It's crazy. Yeah, but you got to you gotta think. Like, he had mad chance to fight on pay-per-views. I mean, he he did the Derek Lewis one, the Tua one, the John one, yeah. Francis. Like he's already had his chance, and 
most of those fights he's lost. I fucking fucking Chael Sonnen said something on Flagrant. I was rewatching it. It came out months ago, like before John fought. Before John fought, and they were talking about the fight, and <clears throat> there he was like. He was, he was basically talking shit about Shevchenko, saying, like, how she's the champion, co-maining a guy who's one and two in UFC and is, like, fighting for a, a vacant belt or some shit. You know, it's like, yeah. like, what are we doing? You know, like, she should be the one. But to that point, the one and two is kind of like, in his last five or whatever, or last three, yeah, like, not very good. So it's like, I, I see him in the fight night, and he has to, he has to get better. He has to get way better on the ground, yeah. because he's so good on the feet that if he can just if he can do what Izzy does and stops the takedown, he could dominate yeah. that division. Honestly, he's, he might. Be, yeah, he's yeah he's the best pure on the feet fighter they have now. Not necessarily power because you got like Derek Lewis, you got like you know Pavlovich knocking people out. Inverse Popovich is that's a fight. That's a fight because they ain't going yeah. to the ground. They're going to throw bombs. That's a heavyweight masterpiece right there. Yeah, but see, like, do you risk that? Do you risk the Pavlovich shit with Cyril? Because Cyril could piece him up on, on a day. There could be a day where Pavlovich comes out a little slower than, than gone, and he pieces him up, right? Like, Yeah, maybe. But then... Oh, the rankings. No, I was just looking at them because we had the, today's Monday. It is Monday. Yeah, nothing happened. Pereira went up to 11. And Gaethje is like thirteen. No pound for pound. Oh, nice. Uh, Pereira went up to eleven, and Gaethje is thirteen. Uh, previously not ranked. Dustin went yeah. down. Dustin was on it. Dustin, 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 Dustin. I Dustin. thought he was on it. I might, I might be tripping. I don't even see. Not even. Now, can you check the light heavyweight rankings? What did that? Put? You know what's cool. Mad respect, though they have John and Volk tied for pound for pound, but they got Volk as the face of the pound for pound list. Because mm. he's been fighting, and he is. That's hard. He is respectively pound for pound right now because he has the most. He's more active. Yeah, you just can't put anybody over John Jones realistically until he loses. loses. Yeah, you can put him just as good as he is, but <laughs> which I mean, for Volk, that's again your your name's getting. Mentioned with greats, but can you check the light heavyweight? I want to see what here's what right now. What Pereira uh, Hill champion? Huh? They have Hill the champion. Okay. Erie one, um, and Kaliev two, Pereira three. Oh, they put him through. I thought they were number really. four, but he beat Jan. So I mean, now put him at the rest of the list went down. <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, today. Yuri was on Ariel Hawani shit mm-hmm. and basically was saying like he wants to fight Pereira for the interim belt since he'll vacated it. What do you think about that? That's hard. You think? That's- the thing is, is like, does Yuri pull it off or does Pereira? I kind of like 205 Pereira, man. Now that he doesn't have to fight Izzy, I don't want to, like, I don't have to like root against him now. He could be, he could be a heavyweight. He was big, bro. He was massive in there. Yeah. Oh, he could he could put up to two sixty five, yeah. you know, and and you know put up a, a fight and lose to John Jones, you know that could be the highlight of his career right there, dude. He could knock John Jones out too. Good, or he could just have a Gustafson moment. But but after John go on a fucking run, that would going. be actually because like all right, so like Izzy can essentially do that if he really wanted to, but like nah. John's not gonna be there long enough for Izzy to gain the weight yeah. he would need. Yeah. Is he's not built to be, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he would need to gain weight, and John's not going to be there long enough for it. He's been doing it the whole time John has been doing it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. And But Pereira, now that that's a more likely fight, especially if Pereira gets the belt. He get, of, yeah. Oh, my God. Because then that's a, like, think about it. If, if John he, beats um, Stipe, yeah, and that, he, that'd be nuts. He be and then he's like, "Haha, is he got your bitch?" And then without even having to fight him, he knocks him out. Oh my! God. John goes out on his back like a champion. That's... No, <laughs> no, yo. When he had Yon, when he had Yon in the fucking geese, you know, I was like, and somebody, yep. I I should have, I don't know if I said it to you, 
but somebody edited it. It was like Imagine, and it was Yon uh, in the Gizzy, and then they they like quickly qu- clip it to where it's like Machita falling over, and then Pereira walking around like he won, <laughs> like he not like he choked him out. It was crazy. It was crazy dude. That would have been that, no, bro. He would have been the scariest dude in the fucking world, bro. Why? No, you can put if you have it in right, you can choke anybody out with a guillotine. No, of course, but like for him to do it at at the next weight, and people are like, he can't wrestle, and just fuck it. All right, bitch, hold that. Yeah, hold that. Just drop him. Drop him on his face. Boom! You got the new. You got that's a new contender right there. (laughs) It was a scary moment when fucking Ferguson was in that triangle and Ferguson kept kicking his leg and kicking his leg and the ref would like drop his arm and he's like and I kick his leg and I, was, <laughs> I said bro he's fucking spasming right now and it went off like a minute yeah. he kept kicking his leg and like popping his head to look at the clock and he would yank him back over and he would kick his leg I'm like oh bro you're gonna kill him dude <laughs> leave him alone bro ref call somebody stop this please here bro I'm gonna stop it now you have to put your gloves in the middle of the ring that's it. That's it. That's it. He's done for his career. <laughs> his eyes are in his mouth. <laughs> you know, but yeah, if he would have done that to that dude, bro, it would have been that would have been. Yeah, it would have been something. Um, yeah, but John Heavyweight is crazy. It's very plausible, right? It's either that or we see Izzy and him fight at two hundred five, if he gets yeah. the belt, right? Like those are the super fights for that. Him, John is crazy. Him, John is enticing. That's- that's now that's, obviously John. What's John? John's gonna put him down, take him down. What if John's like, right. what if John There's announces no way, last, bro? John announces last fight. I'm not risking. No, he just win or lose. I'm, I'm going in and then just starts fucking throwing hands at this dude and just catches a shot. Maybe. Catch a shot, and then we just see John one last time. Eat it. Bro, the crowd would. I, I think that'd be the first time a knockout silence of the crowd. Yo, yeah, if if John gets knocked out, everybody's like. <laughs> oh, like it happened to, to Silva. If you go back and watch that Silva clip when, when Wyman knocks him out, the crowd's like, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no way. I hit the play. So the funniest part like went nuts that night. <laughs> 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 plus, yeah. plus one thousand sixty and shit. Yeah. When you go back and watch that clip, bro, the crowd's like <laughs> the realization of him getting slept. You know, yeah, John, you know, John would silence the crowd for sure. It would be like even us, like if we did a fight, because if John, if, when John fights, we're doing fight companion. You know what I'm saying? Like we're gonna be in here like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the whole is gonna be lit. So regardless, you got, gonna, you got fucking. John Anik, like, and down goes Jones. <laughs> hear that? You would even hear that. You would hear Joe Rogan just. <gasps> <laughs> That's the day Dana White retires. John, Joe Rogan backs out. So, everybody just quits. No. You know, six, six months from now, John Jones sits next to DC in the announcing booth. Imagine John does transition to like commentate. He's not a likable person at all. But he hey, DC. That'd be a, shut the fuck up, DC. You gonna argue about me about wrestling? Shut up. The opening intro would be. <laughs> the opening yeah. intro would be. You still there, pussy? <laughs> yeah. The DC and JJ show is crazy. <laughs> the DC that takes uh, Ryan Clark out of there. DC and JJ. That's fuck. They would never do it, but that'd be hilarious. They, they're adults now. Then Izzy hug John Jones. Didn't it happen? Yeah, they they have. Is he put like a little vlog where he, like they met up? They even have like yeah. a clip of him like they were like shadow sparring and like Izzy looks the same size, he's just skinnier. <laughs> you know what I mean? John is huge. John is John. massive, yeah. Big no, man. No. Yeah, he could have been a heavyweight right after Gustafson. Imagine him then fighting Naganu and fucking Stipe, <laughs> fucking that Lewis. <laughs> another another fucking time travel. <laughs> every every week we come with a new scenario for John. <laughs> A lot of what ifs. Nate two oh five. Yo, what the clip of me going like this? I wish, I wish yeah. it was part of it. That's a clip. He was open. Bro, could you imagine him winning the open weight? Uh, <laughs> Francis and John. Uh, 
does, dude. Yo. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. All right, man. What does surprise me? You know what's not a miracle? <laughs> the Mets. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure out how to say yeah. it. You know, what's not surprising is the Mets yeah. trading all their best talent, dude. Yeah, you know. What is going on with the fucking Metropolitans, my boy? There's Justin Verlander. Please just, you know, request a trade. Please, <laughs> for, for yourself, you know, go to, go, to the, go to the other borough. Go back. Nah. Justin you Verlander know? in a Yankee uniform is crazy. You know, or go to fucking, you know, uh, Randy Johnson did it. You're old, dude. Bounce. Go play for New York. The re- you know, the other New York team. <laughs> you know, uh, or go to Texas. With everybody you know? else? Fuck it. I guess, we, you know, we probably need a washing machine or something. You know, we're not like anything good for him. We get the Grom for Verlander. Now, do you think they keep, like, Pete Alonso? I thought the Pete Alonso. Does he want to be David Wright? You know? Good point. Francis Lindor, yeah. they're going to get rid of. Do you want to, I, do you want to be Jose Reyes? You know, or do you want to I, go be Jose? I, don't, I just don't. It's like they started out so bad. It was like this year they could have been contenders. I mean, they just didn't they just sign Verlander last year? Oh, fuck about this year. Last year was a fucking, it, it was a shit show. Okay, we win 100 games. Okay, we, we, 101 games, whatever the fuck. We, we're, we lead the division for 161 games. You lose your division on the 167th, 162nd game of the season. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and then get swept. Oh, damn near. I don't even, did they get swept today? I think they won one game, maybe. They won, and they the, won one. Okay. Fuck them. I, if, if anybody has any potential in baseball, do not play for the New York Mets. Don't do it. <laughs> and this is by hard Mets fans. I love them. Okay. You say, hey, how's it feel to be a Mets fan? It hurts. <laughs> What they're doing to me, they're doing it to me, okay? Bro, I, I walked into work, right, and the, the bartender's a Braves fan, and me and him talk baseball a lot. He comes immediately as soon as I walk in, jersey to the Rangers. I'm like, no, oh, that's bullshit. No way. He, bro, and then a minute later, you text me, and it's all over the socials. I'm like, no. I'm like, what are we doing? And I knew once they got rid of David Robertson, I was like, they're going to start unloading. <laughs> Huh? When they when they got rid of the closer, uh, Matt Scherzer put out that quote, and he was like, "Um, that move doesn't make any sense to me. I'm gonna have to go talk to the organization and see what their plans are for moving forward." Mm-hmm. And then not like a week or so later, he was a Ranger. And I'm, isn't that where Degrom plays now? Yeah, yeah, bro. We're, we're gonna trade Verlander for Degrom. Degrom's out. Yeah, so we're gonna trade Verlander for Degrom because he can't play. You know who cares? You yeah, know? but they didn't trade Degrom. <laughs> nah, no, dude. <laughs> That's gonna happen. No, oh, dude, never than that. No. Um, he's hurt. Honey, <laughs> please stay away. You know we want to see great baseball, so please, fine with the Yankees, fine with the Marlins. You know, just don't sign Vogel with the Mets. Back, that. dude. We'll go back. You we're, know. we're gonna get rid of him. Yeah, bro. We're gonna we're gonna have a, the the whole team that plays over here down the street from me is gonna fucking be a New York Mets in the next three years. <laughs> Now that I do think that's where they're going, like younger, especially with like the emergence of this catcher, yeah. Francisco guy, like twenty home runs. Like there was a span, there was like a week where every day he had a home run. Like he was going crazy. Um, you got the, I think they actually did they get rid of that Brett Beatty kid? They might have. I don't know if they got rid of him, but or because there was talks about Shohei going there at one point in the season. I'm not saying it was gonna happen, but. One point in the season, I think Britt Beatty was a part of the trade. So I don't know if he got they got rid of him. Please don't come to New York, dude. You know. It'd be cool to get a jersey, though. Yeah, but for your own sanity, you know, to go sign. Just don't sign with Houston because fuck Houston. Yeah. Not the city, the, the franchise. Go to, go to fucking Seattle, dude. Seattle yeah, will be hard. Go, go break Ken Griffey's records. Don't pitch anymore. <laughs> Just so, break the all-time home run record as a Met. But don't play them until your career is over and you have like three home runs to hit. So then, you know, that'd be hard. Yeah, and then he gets Tommy John second game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he pitches his whole career? Yeah. You think, think he, so. he, you think he pitches and you think he plays double his whole career, both sides? I think once he gets to a point, because he's what, like 30, right? Yeah. Like 29, 30. 
I think by the time he's like 36, he'll start slowing down on pitching. And he might be like a reliever, and he'll still hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I think he has the opportunity to be the greatest hitter of all time. You know, and don't they don't they combine per, your your stats from other leagues now? Don't know, doesn't, doesn't the that's why Ichiro is like top three in hits now? Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. But if they do, that's crazy. This stats yeah. over there was nuts. Nuts, dude. Video game numbers. Yeah. I mean, bro, what he did the other day, I mean, we're, obviously, yo, fuck the Mets. They're fucking, yeah. they're fucking breaking our hearts. Um, yep. We're on the show, hey. Yo, what he did in that double header was legendary shit. And I was appalled because I was watching at that night. Well, it was Thursday, I think. And I was watching MLB TV, and they did, like, a, a rank of, like, the best double header performances. It was, like, Ricky Henderson hitting us a uh, leadoff home run in both games. <clears throat> yeah. And they, and they put that ahead of, like, Shohei. It's like, that's, that's not good. This nigga threw a shutout and then had two home runs in a game. Did you see the time breakdown of that? No. My, um, by the way, he's hitting 305 right now. Yeah, he's going crazy this year. He's hitting 305. And he has, what, 40 home no, like Damn near 40 home runs? So, talking about the doubleheader, okay? At 1.10 p.m., Otani starts the game, okay? At 2.20, Otani gives up his only hit as a pitcher. At 3.26, Otani finishes a complete game shutout, okay? Now, at 4.10, the second game starts. So that's only exactly three hours from the start of the first game. Three hours and 30 minutes, he hits his first home run. An hour from then, he hits his second. So... It- in four hours and 30 minutes, he threw a shutout and hit two home runs. Yeah, it's otherworldly, man. It's crazy. It's right. really crazy. Yeah. This is, he's the kind of character I made in fucking 2016. Fucking MLB The Show. Like, this guy can throw gas and hit. It's crazy, bro. We haven't seen anything like this since Bartolo Colon. Literally. Greatest you man know? of all time. No, Mike Piazza is the greatest man of all time. No. Uh, <laughs> Go Henson. Uh, no shot. David shot. Rice technically the greatest man of all time. Yes, dude. I I know. <laughs> we're, we're being on. Like you have like what's this Gary Carter? He Gary used to be the cat. Yeah. Yo, I met him oh. when yeah. when when my grandpa was the trainer for them. He was the manager for the St. Lucie Mets. He was the greatest Met of all time until Mike Piazza, <laughs> you know. And then Mike Piazza broke all of his catcher hit home oh, hit hit records. Because he was the all-time, like, uh, hits for a catcher. Yeah. And then Mike Piazza came in and said, no, no more, mister. I have the greatest swing of all time. That's the greatest swing of all time. <laughs> you know, you can't stop a Piazza swing, dude. Hey, yo, fuck the man. Hey, what, what, how do we get back? I mean, because. It's my fault. Man. We love them. We <laughs> love them. They're hurting our hearts. It's and six, you know, energy, not for the Mets, dude. No. Some blue and orange. Um, what else you got? We'll put uh, on the hour mark. You got anything else for this week? Not chlamydia, I cleared it. Um, I got rid of the chlamydia, so I, I don't got that. Um, Congratulations, do you want a round of applause? Yeah, like Nori. <laughs> Make some noise. <laughs> make some noise for the chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, they make noise for everything, dude. For everything, dude. Sometimes the guests get annoyed and it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if show not fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, he just dropped the blunt. <laughs> Go crazy. Anyways, man, I guess we'll wrap it up here. Pulling up on the hour mark. This is the outro. This is the outro. And we are out. Yo. Late night, AT, J Birdie. Sleep on it, boys. Subscribe, though. You Yo, know, like. like- Share the videos. There's a clip out there that you guys need to watch. You know what I'm saying? If you love your mother, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Your father's relationship doesn't matter too much. But if you love your mother, watch this video. Watch it. We out of this motherfucker. Sleep on it.